Hey, this is Michael from Brainy Face Project. I just got access to Google Gemini VO2. I don't have a ton of time right now to do a long video. So this is going to be really like bare bones, but I've got Gemini VO2 where I produced as many videos as I could and then it did the leg sweep, sent me down to the floor. I was so disappointed. I was having fun and it cut me off and it said I can't do any more videos until tomorrow. But I got about probably eight, maybe maybe even 10 videos done. I honestly don't know how many I did. But then I copied and pasted the prompts into Sora, which is from OpenAI, so we could compare their video generation from the exact same prompts. So. This is something that's been rolling out over the past couple of weeks. I didn't have access until today. Of course, I logged in to do something in Gemini and all of a sudden, let me turn my camera off. You don't need to see me. We're gonna look at the videos. So I logged in to do some code stuff and then bam, it popped up and said, you have access to VO2, generate videos from text. And so I clicked on it and I started to have fun. Now you don't have a lot of options when you go into VO2, like you don't have the ability to do research, you can't do any coding, um, I, you can't even upload images at this point. So I think they're probably going to be enhancing it, but let's just take a look at my chat history here with Gemini. And then you can take a look at some of the videos that I produced. I will not read all of the prompts to you. I will expand these so you can take a look at them if you want. But this one looks good. This one actually looks indistinguishable from real drone footage of a van going through a neighborhood, in my opinion. This looks super realistic. These, in, these images... Um, these videos actually are created at 720p at 16.9 aspect ratio and you don't have any options yet. I, I didn't see anywhere where I could actually type in commands to make changes or um, actually do any sliders or parameter changes which is different from Sora. Let's pop over there to Sora which is OpenAI's generator. And of course you can do the images, everybody knows. I think that ChatGPT 4.0 is incredible at image generation. I've got a couple videos I did on that. Really, really phenomenal stuff. But what I did is I went down and instead of doing image, I did video. And then I made sure that my aspect ratio was 16 to nine and I did 720p which is slower. The nice thing about Sora is you can actually do multiple videos um, at the same time. The first one that I did, I actually had it set at 480p resolution and it would do four, but then I kicked it up to 720p to be a match to the VO2 and then it, it limits how many you can produce. But let's pull up one of these videos here just in comparison. And the, the resolution's not as good, obviously, because it's 480p, but I mean, this, this doesn't look great. It's weird architecture, you know, the layout of the houses, you've got vans appearing and disappearing. It's like they head on collision into each other and then they just you kind of disappear. If I go into the next one, it's kind of like Tokyo Drift, power sliding around the corner in a luxury limo van, but yeah, it doesn't look as good to me. And so we'll, we'll just go on to the next prompt here. Let's see what we've got. This one was camera footage from a news camera person going down a river. Check this out. We've got dogs, we've got cats, we've got a cameraman in a barrel, we've got floating electronics, we've got lightning in the sky. There's a building that's collapsed in the background there. This is terrifying and it looks really good. So this impressed me with VO2. Let's go over to Sora and see what we had. I'm just gonna do one of these here. There's no cat. Either you're, you're happy there's no cat or you're disappointed there's no cat in the shot. Uh, it's a weird kind of extension to the camera. There's no electronics floating. The lightning is static. It's um, not like moving in the sky or anything like that. And yeah, I, I would say that the VO2 that was definitely better. The other one here, that's again, the lightning is, is standing still in the sky. The, the weird shot of the dog doing something. I don't know what that dog is doing there. Bucking Bronco. Oh, and then there's some dude who's floating down a pallet on the river. Talk about work from home. 
going down the river that 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 doesn't look great i'm not impressed by that so let's go back to gemini and scroll down this one cracked me up um, this was a fail i asked it to create an image of a video of a woman getting off an elevator filled with people going into like an executive conference room and the elevator disappears behind her the little break in the table seals shut and then she walks through the table everybody kind of snaps at the same time and does some weird move there's no running man like she is not running doing the running man dance move at all I, I've been using Frame Pack, which is open source, and it does a really good job of getting people to dance. And this this was just like, no, fail, definite fail. If I go to Sora and pull up Sora's version, there's no ele elevator. There's like clones of the same dude in the background there. And yeah, she walks on the table. She does a little hair fling at the end, but this is not passable. You could not use this like in a corporate presentation. This is this looks so AI generated. Because there's two, I'll just pull up the next one here. No elevator, walking on the table, weird foot stuff going on as well. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that one either. Let's take a look at the next one here. A cartoon of a giant rabbit. That rabbit had a really tough Easter. I don't know what happened. What did the kids do to this poor rabbit? He had to make his way to the countryside to try to escape. And it says, out of carrots in the background. This is VO2. It actually got the text correct. And so I think it did pretty good adherence to my prompt on this one. This weird little glitch with the door. That's not perfect, but this is not bad. This actually looks pretty darn good. If I go and I had, I forgot to do this one, so I had to do it um, last before I hit record on this video. But this is Sora. No, no. This looks like bad computer animation from like the late 80s or early 90s, um, mid 90s. Yeah, I don't think this looks great. And did it even get the carrots in the background? I think it was kind of like. Okay, I kind of see carrots in the background. What about the next video? Since it does too. Yeah, it spelled carrots wrong, which is surprising because OpenAI and ChatGPT 4.0, they're like getting so many accolades for getting text correct, but in the video generator, uh, did not get the text correct. And I'm not impressed by the rabbit. For me, this is definitely the victor between the two. All right, this one was kind of a fail. And it warned me when I did this video, like it hung for a while and then it, it made me wait. It, like it made me wait for, I don't know how long it was, but 15 minutes, half an hour, something like that before I could generate any more videos. Um, and then ultimately when I got done doing like 10, then it cut me off entirely and said I had to wait a day. But let me hit play on this one. Oh, see, this is why this, this one, yep, it didn't even generate. So that was disappointing. I might, if I can find the rendered version, I think I downloaded it. It's not playing on the website, but I'll drop that in. And if it dropped in, what I remember here is that it started out, it kind of looked like a cell, um, like a single cell. I wanted an electron microscope style, and then I wanted a face to appear, and then I wanted like this perpetual zoom out. So I intentionally introduced a few different steps to see if it could create kind of the smooth transition between different scenes. It was unable to do that, so that wasn't great. But if we go back over here to Sora and scroll down the page, let's take a look at at least one of these. Uh, got eyebrows floating is i this is a big mess of who knows what i mean it kind of was created with the transitions but this isn't usable what about the next one here oh it's making me dizzy no that's no good er, fail let's go back over here and see what the next prompt was this was i wanted time lapse and I wanted a sandcastle being constructed over time. And so if we take a look at this, it feels like time lapse, but it's like they're just pouring water on a sandcastle that's already there. It got the soldiers. I asked it to do some 
well, actually sand warriors wielding swords. I wanted them to fight each other. Like in my brain, this was way cooler than what we actually got, unfortunately. So that's, that's okay, but not great. And then with Sora, like that's a sandcastle. That, I've never built a sandcastle to that scale, but if I saw that on the beach, I would be pretty impressed. And the warriors are there. Oh, I think we even have a little bit of sword movement at the end. So yeah, this, this actually looks better in Sora. And then we've got a second video that was generated. Yeah, we don't have any sand warriors fighting each other and it, it switches, it goes from scene to scene. There are some weird, weird stuff going on in this video too. I'm not, yeah, that, that's not great. Remember those original Sora videos that we saw of the woman, like the power executive walking down this city street and it was like it blew our minds and how many times did they have to roll that to get that image? Like it, Sora is pretty good, but it's not quite there yet. Runway is still, for me, I love Runway and I'll be doing a video on Runway because they just introduced some really cool features on the platform that just actually came out yesterday so if I can I'll do a video this weekend on that alright so this one was actually pretty good cinematic drone shot flying forwards um, through a marketplace of a bustling futuristic city at sunset so this one looks pretty good to me I like this um, we've got the advertisements on the side we've got the marketplace with people milling about down below like this is actually pretty cool I like this and that is Veo2. What did we get when we did Sora? See, when I say I want a drone shot, I don't want a shot of a drone. And that's what I got here. So it's actually literally got a shot of a drone, like a drone on a drone. And the images on the side of the screens, like th those aren't advertisements. It just like put the same thing in the panels. It doesn't, this doesn't look real at all. What about the next one? Ooh. Is that the new iPhone? <laughs> those are huge. Those are definitely, I don't, those aren't really advertisements, but again, we've got a drone on a drone. We've got um, lots of drones flying around, actually. I would say that Veo2 did a better job between the two. What else do we have here? This was a skilled chef with curly black hair and a big mustache wears an oversized chef's hat with a star logo on it and a brightly lit professional kitchen, expertly chopping vegetables with rapid precise movements and then tossing them into a flaming wok. Close up on the chef's hands in the flames, cinematic food videography style. So it got the star, it got the black hair and the mustache, I'd say I, you wouldn't use a knife. That looks pretty dangerous, but the flipping looks pretty good. I don't know. This doesn't suck. That actually looks pretty good. What do we get with Sora? Oh, th this is a dude that I definitely want to sit down and have a drink with. Look at that hair. He is <laughs> hes a rock star, and he is going to town cutting vegetables in a very dangerous kitchen, so... The uh, flames dancing all around. Um, yeah, I would I would eat at this restaurant. If they had a hibachi restaurant where this was the chef at the table, I would go back like at least once a month. And this looks good too. Got the star on the hat and the knife. That's weird. Yeah, knife going through. You've got some inconsistencies with the flames and the lights behind it. But uh, this is Sora. I'd say I'm more impressed with the Veo2. All right, so this was a claymation scene of two quirky alien creatures with googly eyes building a spaceship out of common household objects. Let's hit play on this. I like it. You can build a story out of this. I think the characters are good. I like their facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool I like that one for sure that's good let's take a look at Sora and what do we get on this one? Oh, we got some bouncing uh, creatures here looks like a tinfoil hat they don't know what to do with that uh, definitely got the googly eyes right this is pretty good too and this one I like the camera motion the way it's 
kind of zooming in on them. Looks like they're dancing or chanting or summoning their their alien overlord. Okay. What else do we have? Any left? Let's see, I had a surreal scene, a landscape made out of flowing colorful silk fabrics instead of ground and trees billowing gently. And yeah, that was pretty good. We got the gears and then we've got the silk fabric falling from the gears in the sky. So I think VO2 came through on that one. And I, did I even do one? Oh, yeah, I did. It's down here. Yeah, it's not flowing the same. I mean, the silk looks pretty cool. It's it's pretty. The gears are turning, mm, separating from each other. But I like the way that VO2 actually had the silk flowing from the gears instead. And here's the second roll on this one. So, all right. Well, anyway, this was just a quick video so you could take a look at VO2. If you have any stuff that you'd like to see, definitely let me know. And I uh, want to continue to play around with these tools and uh, did a short recently using the frame pack i was really impressed by the quality that i got from frame pack which by the way is 100 percent free you run it on your local computer so if you haven't seen that video check it out and please be sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching take care bye